Now, who was the last British monarch to be deliberately killed? Was it one of the ones that got beheaded? Uh, no. <laughs> um, you've managed yeah. to avoid saying Charles I, who, who most people would yeah, think. because I couldn't bloody remember. <laughs> <laughs> it happened in Norfolk. So, where would that likely be if it was a monarch? Sandringham. It's Sandringham. Oh, it's the Queen's dad. No, no not the Queen's dad, the Queen's grandfather. Right. This is George, King George V who was the grandfather of our, our current monarch. There he is, looking spookily like his cousin Nicholas Tsar Alexander. And it's a, a tested story by the man who actually did it. It's quite extraordinary that it isn't better known, really. Uh, in 1936, he was at uh, Sandigan, complaining of feeling unwell. On the 15th of January, he retired to his bedroom. Uh, by the 20th, he was comatose and clearly dying, but still clinging to life. And this presented his doctor, a man called Lord Dawson, a bit of a problem. In Dawson's opinion, the world at large would be better served by hearing of the king's death in the morning papers rather than by him lingering on a little bit longer and it being in what he sniffily referred to as the evening journals. <laughs> so he decided to force the issue. He wrote a very famous bulletin on the, on the back of a menu card which was telephoned to the BBC. The life of the king is moving peacefully to its close. He then went up to the bedroom and this, according to his own diary, is what he did. I therefore decided to determine the end and injected morphia, three quarters of a grain, and shortly afterwards cocaine, one grain. Lucky old okay. king. <laughs> into the distended jugular vein. I did it myself because it was obvious that Sister B, the king's nurse, was disturbed by the procedure. <laughs> so I injected Sister B as well. <laughs> But essentially, isn't that what a, a, a speedball is? Isn't it? He's basically gone the same way as John Belushi. It's, uh, <laughs> he, he gave him a speedball of morphia and cocaine. Did which he, is pretty... did he, and he told the family, did he? Or... Well, he wrote it in his diary, and this was revealed in 1986. Treason. Well, it was quite extraordinary. And the weird thing is, uh, it, being a lord, he was in the House of Lords, and not long afterwards, he voted against euthanasia in the euthanasia debate. But he said, I, I'm not opposed to euthanasia per se, not having just killed the king, not surprising. <laughs> uh, I just felt it, sh it should be left to the discretion of doctors, right. not anybody else. But there or, we are. Or a doctor. Or a, myself, <laughs> basically. <laughs>